What is up everybody? It is Wick here and I got a video for you today. I'm going to be showing you a lot of my eBay sales. The purpose of this video is just to update you on the stuff I've been finding going to Goodwill, thrifting, garage sales, rummage sales, all that kind of stuff. It's edited to be fast to just throw a bunch of information at you, a bunch of items. I believe there's over 60 sales I'm about to show you and this is stuff that you can look for at thrift stores, garage sales, rummage sales yourself. So hopefully this helps you out. Let's jump into it. Here is a nice flip. I got this JVC DVD recorder. It is brand new sealed. I paid up for this. I paid $200 for it. I ended up selling it on eBay for $690 plus shipping. It is an international order, so the buyer paid a lot to have it shipped. Their total was $855.19, so quite a bit going to shipping. I've mentioned many times that these sealed electronics, these vintage ones, they do great. Sold these LL Bean moccasins I got at Salvation Army. I paid, I believe, $5 for them. Sold them for $29.88 plus shipping. Here is a great flip. I got these Nike Lunar TR1s and I paid $3 for them at a garage sale. Sold them for $80 plus shipping for a total of $108.07. Picked up this sleep apnea equipment dryer at a thrift store and I ended up selling it for $90 plus shipping for a total of $116.18. I believe I only paid about $5 for this. Paid $10 for this Hobbit, the Battle of Five Armies CD, and I sold it for $35. Picked up this Oxygenix showerhead at a Lowe's. I paid about $18 for it. Sold it for $35 plus shipping for a total of $54.43. Paid a dollar for this at a rummage sale. It is a Accurite weather thermometer. Sold it for $25. A nice clean flip. Got this Ben 10 Omni Battler set. At a garage sale, paid $5 for the bag, sold it for $28. Some of this Ben 10 stuff is worth quite a bit of money. Picked up this McDonald's game at a sale for $10, and I ended up selling it for $50 plus shipping. For a total of $70.22, unfortunately it was missing one piece, otherwise I could have sold it for more money. Here's a Hero Escape figure I sold, I got a few cents into this, I got a bunch of these. A Salvation Army one time, 20 bucks for uh, like a half size tote of them. Sold this one for $35. Here are a couple of New Balance shoe sales. Each one of these I sold for $25 plus shipping. And I have, I think, $5 maybe into these. It seems like I got these for a dollar at a rummage sale. Certainly under $5 in each one. Here's a great flip I got from Salvation Army. Only paid a dollar ninety nine for this Wheel of Time paperback book set sealed, but I sold it for a hundred and thirty dollars plus shipping for a total of one hundred and forty one dollars and eighty three cents. It was actually selling for more on Amazon. It has a little tear here. I just decided to sell it on eBay. The ROI on this item is just incredible. I picked up these Belleville military style boots, brand new with tags and a Salvation Army. I don't remember what I paid for these ten fifteen dollars it seems like, but I sold them for. $50 plus shipping for a total of $61.54. I'm shipping out this ceiling fan I got at Lowe's. I think I paid about $55, $60 for it. Sold it for $165 plus shipping. Buyer ended up paying $75 to have this item shipped. Gonna be some good profit for me. Picked up this Honeywell thermostat at a rummage sale. It was only a dollar. I sold it for $20 plus shipping. Here's a phase 10 dice game. There were two identical ones at a Salvation Army recently, a dollar a piece. Both complete and in good condition. Well, almost good condition. This one has a little dent on it, so I priced it a little lower. Sold it for $40. I've mentioned many times on the channel now, this is one of those bolo items you need to keep an eye out for because you can usually get these cheap and they always sell for around 40, 45 bucks. So I picked up this Arctic Cove personal misting bottle at a rummage sale. It was only a dollar. I grabbed it and threw it in my bag. It's something I've sold before and I know they sell great. Ended up selling it for $32.99 plus shipping for a total of $49.95. I picked up a bunch of these lightsabers. Some of them are build a lightsaber. Got them at a garage sale. I paid $5 for the bag. Listed them on eBay for $35 plus shipping and they sold. So I got these Kenley Players playbills at a Goodwill. They were in a bag for a 
believe $2.99. Have these priced around $100 because it's hard to tell true value of stuff like this. Been lowering the price and you know what? It went down to $40 and somebody finally picked it up. For only paying $3, it's really good profit. So I bought this John Deere tractor at a garage sale. I paid $40 for it, vintage, brand new. I ended up selling it for $120 plus shipping for a total of $144.73. Nice little flip. Bought this Wagner Ware Magnolite Dutch oven at a Goodwill for $10. Ended up getting $64.62 shipped for it. Could have got more if it was in a little bit better condition, but I'll take those delicious profits. I found these Jagun fighters on the side of a country road where someone was having a sale, was driving by and stopped. Got four packages here sealed. I paid a dollar a piece for them. Sold them for $40 plus shipping for a total of $55.06. Next, I have a great flip, this water bob. I picked this up at a thrift store for $4. Something you put in your bathtub to turn it into a drinking water storage unit. And yeah, I sold this for $120. Phenomenal flip. So I found these Disney Store plushes at a yard sale. I paid a quarter a piece for them. Got them like two or three years ago. They've been listed for a while. Really surprised it took this long to sell them. I'm not really sure why, but they ended up selling for $25. So that's fine since only paying a quarter for them. It's a um, pretty good profit. Gonna be an easy ship. Bought these Christmas spotlights for little Christmas towns at a yard sale. I believe I paid $5 a piece and I ended up selling for $20 a piece for a total of $60. Somebody bought all three of them. Bought this Optimus portable tape player and FM radio. Got it at a rummage sale. Only paid a dollar for it. Sold it for $20. Paid two or three dollars for this transformer set at a garage sale. It is new and sealed. I ended up selling it for $37. Sold this pair of Brooks. I picked these up, I believe had a rummage sale for like a dollar they're in pretty good condition got some a little bit of wear on it but i was able to sell them for twenty dollars plus shipping great profits for as little as i paid here's a nice quick flip this squeezo strainer garden ways i've sold this before they are great to pick up bit of a bolo item for you i paid ten dollars for this at a garage sale and i sold it for a hundred dollars plus shipping the sell through rate is actually incredible on these usually there's only one or two on ebay if any and you see about 20, 30 comps at all times. People want these. Found this sealed Monopoly Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer game in a Goodwill. I think it was about seven or eight dollars. Originally, I was going to sell this on Amazon for like $150, but of course, they started restricting Monopoly games. Just ended up putting it on eBay. I priced it like $100. It didn't sell last Christmas. I lowered the price and it sold at $60 plus shipping for a total of $72.38. So that's great profit for what I paid. Here's a cool vintage item. This Babs Bunny from Tiny Toon Adventures binder. This came in a big lot of toys I bought earlier in the year. I paid about $5 for it. I sold it for $30 plus shipping for a total of $43.27. I paid $12 for these Audio Technica headphones at a Goodwill and I ended up selling those for for $40. Brand new in box, easy to list, easy to ship, about $10 profit. Sold this Little House on the Prairie DVD set, paid $5 for it, and I sold it for $44. Media mail, free shipping. Got this Miami Dolphins hat, it's an Eastport, not a sports authorities, not a sports specialities hat, pro line starter, all those brands will do much better. Still though, I sold this hat for 40 bucks. I paid $5 for it at a garage sale. Here are some Hero Escape figures I sold. I bought a huge lot at Salvation Army and I spent about $20 on it. I'll end up making hundreds of dollars on that in the end. These three zombies I sold for $35. Picked up this Yokai Watch binder. It's got a bunch of those medals in there. And I ended up selling this for $30 plus shipping an international order. They paid $58 total. To receive this nice flip only paying a dollar 99 should get out this pair of hoka shoes i paid ten dollars for these they are used but they are in like new condition you can see the price originally was 150 dollars that's why these things sell pre-owned so well on ebay i ended up selling them for 50 dollars plus shipping for a total of 65 42 certain models of this shoe you can sell pre-owned for 80 bucks 90 bucks shipping out this new pair of sketchers i picked these up at a yard sale i paid 15 dollars for them sold them for 55 dollars plus shipping not bad not bad so this bullseye to metal detecting pin pointer i bought a nice white's metal detector and this was in there with it so i sold it separately for 
$95 plus shipping. And I sold the metal detector for like, oh, what was it? Like $500 or more? I don't even remember now. But I paid $150 for all of it, so it was a good profit in the end. Picked up this nice Nike hat at a Goodwill. I paid $2.99 for it, and I sold it for... $19.99. Sold in about three days of me listing it. I believe I paid $10 for this Let's Make a Deal game, brand new sealed. I ended up selling on eBay for $30 plus shipping. Here is what I believe to be a temp regulator. <laughs> Really don't know anything about this. I saw it at a garage sale. I did a quick look up. Saw some comps, some similar stuff, uh, selling pretty well. So I went ahead and bought it. Had it listed for a while. It wasn't selling, wasn't getting any interest. So just lowered the price down to $10. Now I'm selling it as parts basically because I have no idea if it works, if it's in good condition. So sold it for $10 plus shipping. In the end, I still make some money on it. Sold this McGregor baseball glove for $25 plus shipping. Picked it up at a garage sale. I paid only $5 for it. Picked up these Nike Air Max shoes. I believe I paid $5 for them at a yard sale. Sold them for $40 plus shipping for a total of $56.86. Take a look at this awesome Randall Cunningham jacket. I got about $50 into this jacket. You can see it's from 1990. It's got that cool Fanimation look to it. Graphic on the back. Front is equally as awesome. NFL Starline. And I sold this jacket for $300 plus shipping. So it's always awesome to find this vintage stuff. Be able to flip it for a lot of money. I don't remember what I paid for these Star Trek ornaments. But I ended up selling them for $40. I believe it was this one's not worth a whole lot. This one was selling new for over $50. But I'm pretty sure it's been opened and used i couldn't tell for sure so i just ended up lotting these two for 40 they sold quick i believe i paid five dollars for these stephen king movies ended up selling them for 20 bucks here are some mice and rat repellers i picked these up at lowe's for ten dollars a piece somebody bought three of them for 75 dollars plus shipping for a total of 92 dollars and 82 cents not bad got about 30 dollars into these insane clown posse cds i actually got some more i'm going to be selling those on amazon bigger profits but this lot right here ended up selling for $75 plus shipping ended up selling these McGregor golf clubs they are vintage still in the box sold them for $30 Paid $10 for them. Ended up marking them down because I just wanted them gone. They had been sitting. Shipping was $30 on these because of the long size. Of course, buyer pays shipping. Would I buy again? I don't know. Took five boxes. Frankensteined it together. We're getting it out. Making it happen. Unfortunately, the long boxes that I had just wouldn't fit it. It was just a little too small. So I had to Frankenstein these all together. Sold some of the music cassettes I bought in the $250 cassette lot. I got locally. So I got the Easy e I sold the Easy e for 50 bucks. That was a good one. Sold this Iron Maiden piece of mine uh, for $40. Then this lot of Metallica cassettes are sold for $50. Plus shipping going... Uh, out of the country. So the cassettes are bringing in money. Sold these youth size LeBron Nike shoes. Sold them for $25 plus shipping. I believe I paid $5 for them at Goodwill. I don't remember exactly where I got them. I buy so many shoes. Sold this Fisher Price Doom Buggy for $19. Vintage 1978. If I had the flag, it would be worth a lot more money. But, you know, I only paid a dollar for it, so it's profit. Sold this model for $23. I picked it up at a yard sale for only $2 brand new sealed after the buyer paid the shipping it ended up being about 42.40 got these gothic beauty magazines for ten dollars there's four of them here and i ended up selling them for 45 dollars plus shipping it's a good magazine to look out for sold this sony m430 micro cassette recorder i picked this up for one dollar at a rummage sale i sold it for 45 dollars great flip so these two head-on lures got these for dollar a piece i believe out of a tackle box at a garage sale ended up selling the lot here for 14 bucks good return on my investment i bought this garmin gps unit at a salvation army i think i paid five dollars or less for it sold it for 50 dollars plus shipping for a total of 67.69 i paid about a dollar a piece for these shakespeare ugly twist weed trimmer line at lowe's i ended up selling four of them for 20 bucks plus shipping here is a nice flip i got these monster high dolls i'm pretty sure the bag was only a dollar at salvation army dollar 99 at most rest in peace salvation army but i ended up selling these for 60 dollars plus shipping it's an international order so the order ended up being 90 some dollars monster high brats those kind of dolls they they sell well sold some of these iron maiden cassettes i got in that big cassette lot 
I paid $250 for. Sold a lot of three for $40. And then one of these piece of mine for $40. And the reason I sold this one so much cheaper is this, the cassette wasn't in as good as condition. So I just allotted it with two others. But yeah, the cassettes are selling. So I picked up this Don Joy Iceman Clear 3. Got it at Goodwill. I think it was, what, $4.99, maybe $5.99. It's an ice therapy device of some sort. A lot of these medical devices are not that great to sell on eBay. You can get Vero claims. Um, you just have problems in general. It looks like some of the other people listing these, they were being removed. So you know what? I just went over to Macari and I sold it on there. So this is a Macari sale. I ended up selling for $50 plus shipping. But there it is. I hope you enjoyed the video. Some items that I've sold on eBay. Hopefully you found it helpful. Let me know in the comments your favorite item I sold. Let me know what you're finding out there, what you're selling. I would love to hear about it. Also, before you go, if you could hit that like button for me, I'd really appreciate it. You can find me on Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, flipping underscore junk, and this has been Wick. Till next time.